so hi everyone today we will be discussing about another tokenization algorithm in nlp that is word piece word piece is pretty popular uh, popular algorithm and it overcomes one of the major faults of byte pair encoding that we have discussed in a previous video uh, so uh, in case of uh, byte pair encoding if you remember if you haven't seen that video i would suggest to go back and see what we were doing is that uh, first of all i will give you a short introduction so what we were doing is that we were uh, splitting out all the characters in the dictionary present and then we were merging out characters depending upon the highest frequency so in case if you can see in the first example uh, r and underscore gets uh, comes up 6 plus 3 9 times in the data set so and the highest hence we merge up r underscore similarly uh, the next high uh, after merging r underscore the next highest frequency for a token was e uh, plus r underscore together E R underscore that is six plus three, so we have merged uh, E R underscore and we have considered as a new token now. Similarly, uh, we will be merging tokens uh, one by one, and whatever token has the highest frequency, whichever, whichever pair has the highest frequency, will be considered as a new token and added in the token bag. Now, in case of uh, word uh, byte pair encoding, it falters on out on a major point that is, it doesn't consider. Uh, uh, rarely occurring tokens so it can be the case that there are some tokens that are occurring rarely and hence they are completely ignored by byte pair encoding as you can see that it depends upon the high, depending upon the highest frequency they are getting merged up so what does uh, word piece does is that it also follows the same logic as in byte pair encoding where we are first of all splitting out each and every character and then merging these characters together to form tokens but the formula uh, the method used is a bit different so in case of uh, byte pair encoding we're using the combination which has the highest frequency occurring in the data set in case of word piece we are merging uh, we are merging or depending upon a score that is getting calculated the formula for the score is frequency of uh, if we are merging our two tokens a and b then the frequency of a and b together upon frequency of a into frequency of b and the max uh, max value pair would be selected then so in case of white pair what we were doing is that uh, we were just considering frequency a and b we were not providing any denominator but in case of word piece, you are providing a denominator that is frequency x into frequency b. That is the frequency of first token and frequency of second token is also considered. So uh, like, and it does gives us a big, big improvement. So uh, how it is helping us out? So let's understand with an example. It might be the case that we have a frequency very high for so comma on. And hence it might get selected as a token in uh, merge in case, uh, they might be merged together in case of byte pair encoding. But if we are using word piece, we might not be merging them together because the overall frequency of occurring sep uh, separately in the data set for frequency a, uh, for frequency of so and frequency of on separately can also be and hence the score for a b score for so and on can be low similarly assume that we have we have come to a point where we have tokens jack and gary and they have a very uh, and they have been rarely used in the data set but as jack and gary are also using are getting used very uh, rarely in the data set Hence, the score becomes very high because frequency of jaggery upon frequency of jack into frequency of gari would be very high because the denominator value is also small if the tokens are rare in nature. 